Hi everyone, Troy Sage here, and today on Real Estate Talk, we're going to discuss what we just discussed in another episode, which is the seller's disclosures. These are mandatory whether you're working with a real estate agent or you're not working with a real estate agent. This is a very, very scary thing for for sale by owners, and it's even scary for some people that are working with real estate agents because you are going to, as you can see, a stack of paper, fully disclose everything that you know about the property. So I want to discuss just two of these right off the top. The number one is called the transfer disclosure statement here in California. I know Arizona, we have another name for it, but let's just talk California specific. So the transfer disclosure statement is one, two, three pages long. And it asks all kinds of questions. What's in the house? What comes with the house? How old is, is the roof? Is there 220 electrical? Um, where are you getting the gas from and the water from? Are they utility? Are they from a private uh, supplier? So on and so forth. It's going to ask all kinds of questions like, for example, uh, has anyone, uh, are you aware of uh, radon gas? Are you aware of asbestos? Um, is there methamphetamine ever been produced in the house? All kinds of really cool stuff like that. Um, it's going to talk about flooding. It's going to talk about CCNRs or HOAs. Here's the key thing. Seller has to complete this. Seller's agent cannot complete this. It is not your property. So we see this happen sometimes here in California where you can tell that the agent just went through and did it because it's the same handwriting as when they signed their name. So here's another thing on page three of this transfer disclosure statement where it asks the seller or the, the agent to actually complete some information on there. That's how we kind of bust the agents that fill these out. It is illegal for the agent to fill this out. So if you're a seller, this is part of your homework. It's part of full disclosure. Remember, here in California, buyers have to get this within the first seven days that you open escrow. Now, here's the next one, which is the seller's uh, property questionnaire. This one is one, two, three, four. Oh my gosh, it's four pages and it gets more intense with the questions. They ask a lot of the same questions, but then they want more explanation after that. I want to touch on these two documents mainly because these are the two documents that wind up not being done properly, which gets a seller in court or in trouble legally more than any other document that we, that we have here in California in selling a property. So if you're a seller, whether you're for sale by owner or you're working with an agent, these have got to be completed. I suggest that you complete these at the time of listing the property. In today's hot market, it's going to be sold within 30, 40, 60 days, whatever. If there's any updates, you can always update it. But you want to provide these to your buyer the minute that you've accepted an offer so that they can look at that and their strategy behind that that I can get into in other episodes. Point is this, on top of that, on top of these seller's disclosures, there are all kinds of mandatory additional documents that you have to complete and agree to that you have to explain and understand that number one, you have to have carbon monoxide detectors. Two-story home, got to have two of them. Here in California, hot water tank has to have two straps on it. Not just one, but two. And the list goes on and on and on and on. So as a seller, protect yourself, complete these forms, read through the forms and do them properly. Be honest and fill them out properly because if you're not honest, I will guarantee you somebody will get popped on this. You'll get sued for way more than any kind of money that which you made on the property. My name is Troy Sage. This is Real Estate Talk. I appreciate you watching this video. Please keep the emails and phone calls coming. I love your ideas and I will talk about whatever you ask me to. I love this show. I love this episode. I love Tyler. Thanks for always doing this for me, brother. And make it a great day.